What's going on guys, it is Cliffy here bringing you officially this is my second Call of Duty commentary. The first I'm going to explain to you what happened. So this morning I was like, yep, I'm going to go, I'm going to do an Advanced Warfare uh, gameplay and for once it was actually pretty good. Like I went 24 and 11 I think. How did I almost die against that guy? Went 24 and 11 which is pretty good for me because I do not consider myself an elite COD player by any stretch of the imagination. I'm pretty social when it comes to COD and most of the time I play just to interact with other players. So going 24 and 11 was very good for me and I was very very happy with that. But, but, this is the big but. When I went to go and edit the video, I realized that there was no sound. And by no sound, I mean there was no commentary. And obviously, the only time you can do shooter videos without commentary is if you're doing a, I guess, a montage of some description. So that was pretty annoying that I went so well, recorded it, but just did not have the sound. So hopefully I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a wee, well I'm going to do just as good in this game. I'm not uh, holding my breath for anything because as I said, when it comes to COD, it's not one of my main games. It's just one of those games that I play to go and interact more or less uh, with other people. So, ooh. oh, why did, why can I not win gunfights like that? That really annoys me. This morning I was just absolutely, just raking in the kills from close quarter combat uh, like that. So uh, fingers crossed, as I said, I can go and uh, pick it back up and carry on where I left off. So now that that is done and dusted, I'm going to give you guys uh, just, I guess, my thoughts so far on this new COD game. They come out obviously every year. And what do I make of this one? A lot of people have said it's very similar to Black Ops 2, and I would totally agree with them there. It is very similar to that, but it does have quite a lot of... Oh, I just hit the bloody jackpot. I just hit the jackpot. I just hit the jackpot. Where did they go? Is that guy... Oh, no! I hit the jackpot, and I didn't cash it in. That is disappointing. So, yeah, very similar to Black Ops 2, just in the way, I guess, the leveling system's done, the accolade system, and all that, which is quite cool, because Black Ops 2 is one of those games that, at the start, I liked, and then towards the end, I didn't like, and I guess that's what every COD, um, well, each year, every COD is very, uh, very much, come on, really? It's very much like, you go... Play it, get all the big hype for it, it's real awesome. Then, you know, about oh, maybe four months down the track, you're just like, well, this game isn't actually that good, I don't like it that much, rah, rah, rah. Then you get anticipation for the new one coming out, and that makes you go back and play the old one until the new one comes back out. Well, that's what I do. Anyway, but this this seems like one of the games that I could, I could probably go, oh, no, no, no. Oh, there was a guy around here. Where did he go? Oh, shit. Oh, yes, take that, son. Oh, oh, please. Where's he gone? Oh, Cliffy, what are you doing? Aim down the sight, aim down the sight. But yeah, this is probably a, a COD game that I could see myself playing for most of the year because I am enjoying it so far. I mean, at the start, it was a bit annoying and I did get quite frustrated. And I think that's mainly due to the fact whenever a new COD game comes out, um, it's always pretty much the same, you know? New maps, new guns, and you just don't know, uh, I guess, what your style is, how you're going to play. Um, and I guess that was kind of the same for me. I was rushing quite a lot, and because of that, I wasn't really um, getting, I guess, uh, good games, and I wasn't getting good KDs and stuff like that. But that's all fixed now. Where's this guy hiding? Where are you hiding? There you are. Ah, oh, damn it, someone stole my kill. Um, but now I guess I've kind of got a gun sorted. I know the maps, I've got enough knowledge of the maps um, to know where to go and where not to go. Um, here probably is a place not really to go. Oh, crap. Please die from my Semtex. No, you're not going to die from my Semtex. I'm going to get an assist. So, yeah, it, it was real annoying because this morning, as I said, I was just going and absolutely ripping up. Um, oh, especially when it came to a lot of close quarters stuff. Um... Which, I mean, kind of does, does annoy me a wee bit because how can I go from being so good to so bad in the space of, uh, you know, like a couple of hours. But, all in all, I must say, I am enjoying this so far. Uh, as I said, my KD is now up at about 1.1, which is, you know, pretty good for me because, as I said at the start of the recording, I am pretty much just a social core player. I do only play for the social aspect of it, the interaction, um, which is quite cool. I've met quite a few, uh, few cool people on COD. Um, and hopefully I'm going to go and meet a few on Advanced Warfare as well. That guy there is trying to sneak up on me. Right, I need to go get some kills. 
Oh, see, this morning, whenever I'd have a gunfight like that, every time, every time I would pick up the kill. Um, but not now, which is a bit of a nuisance, a bit of a pain. Where's this guy? Oh, you need to come out. Oh, what? Assist! Yes, and we get him. We get him at the end of the day, and he's not happy about it. That's one thing I do love about COD, is just the people who get annoyed. But I can't really talk, because, to be honest, I'm one of those people as well. When things don't go my way, when I get killed, I get pissed off. Stop camping in the corner, you little bitch. Where's this guy? There he is. Oh, there's two. Take you. Where's this other one? See, this is, this is what I needed. Like, in that game that I recorded this morning... Just on fire, and I was just picking up kill streaks a lot. Um, sorry, score streaks. Uh, but in this game, as you can probably tell, I haven't picked up too many score streaks. And situations like that, I'll be going and just absolutely ripping up, but not in this case. So we're coming to the close of the game. Uh, we're going to pick up the win quite comfortably here. Hopefully, I can pick up another couple of kills just to make it a bit more. There we go. Get one and one. System hack. So their UAVs are down now. So that's ideal for me. Works well for me. And hopefully I can go and take a few of these guys by surprise. Um, I've just got to see where they are. Because I don't want to go and get shot from behind. Invitation. Really? Really? That's weird. I think that's actually the first COD invite I've got from someone. Ah, oh, why... Does this happen to me? Why do I always get shot from behind? It's because I move around too much. And a lot of people have commented on that when I did COD on my old channel. Uh, a lot of people did say, Cliffy, why do you move around so much? And I guess I'm just one of those players that I don't like staying in one spot for the whole time. I do like to go and move around, try and get into the action as much as possible. We are going 15 and 13. So that's not great. It's not as good as this morning. Um, but we are still going positive. And at the end of the day... If we're going positive, I'm happy. Where's this guy? Oh, and we get the final kill as well. It's a bit messy. It's a bit fired from the hip, but we go 16 and 13. TC Gaming 16. There must be something in there. Final kill. Look at that cool card. What was I doing here? God only knows, but we go and pick up the final kill. I'm loving that gun, the HBR. It's definitely been the gun that's gone and picked up my game. So 16 and 13, as I said, not as good as 24 and 11. But we do have some commentary on this bad boy this time. Anyway, guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like and leave a comment down below if you would like to see more Call of Duty videos. I am potentially looking at going and doing a bit more COD just so I can go and add a bit of variety to the channel. Obviously, the main target audience is for sports uh, career mode gaming, but... Variety has never hurt anyone. So leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Tune in tomorrow. I'm going to have a pack opening. Now, I've recorded that or really recorded that earlier. The commentary on that is stuffed as well, which I'm real annoyed. But I did pick up an awesome player, so I'm going to upload it anyway. And Sunday, Don Bradman Cricket. That's going to be a very interesting semi-final there. So make sure you do not miss either of those.